We already know that we often only have access to data for areas or groups of people, not the people who live in those areas or who make up those groups. And the ecological fallacy describes a logical error that we would make if we took a statistic related to an area and tried to apply it to the individuals living in that area. So doing that would be a problem because even small areas or small groups of people can have quite a lot of variation within them. For example, even in an area as small as one or two streets, we might have houses, offices, shops and other places that are quite different in the opportunities they present for crime. So if we tried to use area-based statistics, such as the burglary rate for a neighbourhood, to make decisions about individuals, we would risk making incorrect judgments because we would be committing the ecological fallacy. Now this is particularly important when a small number of people in an area are responsible for a large proportion of the thing that we're studying, so where the distribution of the, that thing is skewed, which is often the case um, when we're studying crime. So if a few houses in an area had a relatively very high risk of being burgled, but the rest of the houses had a very low risk, the average risk would seem much higher than the risk faced by most of the people living in that neighbourhood, because the, the small number of very high risk houses would skew the average. So when we have data for an area, we can make statements about what that area is like on average, and those might very well be useful statements. But we must remember that not everyone in that area will be well represented by that average.